Hello, Americans. Another friend subscribers around the world. So, what is that crazy hillbilly up to you today? I think I threw that dang down. It's broken. Um, let's show you what uh, <coughs> running fish fences on mountain uh, shell rock roads will get you. Right there. That one's cut. You can see it's flat. <coughs> And this one, look at that, I come out this morning, see that, all separating, that's them dang, uh, show rock rose, just chew it up, big time. What I'm doing right now is, uh, actually showed it, I think, in past videos and stuff, first I'm going to put some air in the cut tire, and then I'm going to use this board and this to break the bead on that tire so I'll back the truck up onto that break that bead and then I'll break the bead on okay, that so I got one. the board man you want to put the board first you want to pull your valve stem out so all those button out and then check to make sure your board is not on your wheel Cut the board a little bit, man, too close to the wheel, so it caught the wheel a little bit, but broke the bead there. See that? Flip it over. Step on it first to see if it, nope, see, so I'll do it on the other side. Alright, bead broke on both sides of that one, so we'll be able to screw that one off. Anything that holds air around here when you're stuck up in the hills, you know, I haul two and three spare tires with me at all times because these mountain roads man up here uh, you're always cutting tires but this one here man is uh pretty well done. Did you just get out of bed? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stay a camera right there? I do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I think right. we might need some uh, camera work. Alright so uh I've got them both uh Beads broke. You know, I haven't really went into it, this one, so we'll kind of touch base on it right now. Which now I'm doing it myself. If Les Schwab would have changed my tires up there, um, not saying I wouldn't have cut a tire and been in the the predicament, but uh, um, no, I don't blame Les Schwab for you know for not. Or, well, I'm a little agitated that they didn't take care of those tires and then called me and said they will take care of them. You know, I'm a 37 miles from that Les Schwab, uh, what is that, the 80 miles round trip to go mm -hmm. up there. And I went up there and that gal, you know, quoted me that 35 bucks. What are you doing back yeah. there? Yeah, <laughs> talking with my hands. So then, so then, you know, which I did score some junk and stuff, paid for my trip. But, uh, you know, and then the guy calls me on that Sunday, or actually it was Monday, I guess it was this Monday, or a week ago tomorrow. And tells her, oh, well, come on up, man. I'll do them for that. I apologize, you know, and all that. And that's all great and fine. But uh, um, I didn't have them tires, so I've actually been running around with some. And I, that's not Les Schwab's fault, you know. I mean, it's my job, man. But I go through so many tires, and that's what I was explaining to that guy. I'm not going to pay 35 bucks a tire. And I don't care if they're new or good used ones. When I see them at a yard sale, Craigslist, eBay, Anywhere, if I see a set of tires, I'm not going to go, well, I don't want to buy them because they're new and Les Schwab's going to want to charge me 35 bucks. So we're actually going to try one of those mechanical changers until I get myself a, uh, I'm going to actually, uh, I've got to track one down, but I want one just like that I used to hinder wheels. Man, I've mounted, um, you know, I'll say thousands, but hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tires over the years. And I mean hundreds. Because, man, I worked... For over five years at Henderson Wheel, I drove truck for him. Plus, when I was in the shop, we mounted tires, man, and I'd go back there and mount pallets, pallets full of tires, tire changers eventually. And then I'm just going to change tires for the locals around here and charge like 12 bucks. You know, man, because it's uh, all these tire shops. Oh, that's what I was going to get into, talking about Les Schwab. You know what I mean? They're trying to make it right up there. So, man, you know, kudos to McCall Les Schwab. Well... When they uh, pulled that crap on me, just like I said, 
Uh, Kevin was going to go get tires up there at Les Schwab, and Katie and Tim needed to get some tires. Well, when they pulled that crap over that weekend, after I told them all that stuff, and I'm talking, they were all ready to get tires like now, because we all, you know, we go through tires. So Kevin had the money and everything, was going to go to Les Schwab. So he ended up buying tires online too. Um, Katie and Tim did the same thing, bought tires. They bought six tires. Mm -hmm. Six tires. Mm -hmm. Kevin bought four tires. All those would have been bought from Les Schwab if they wouldn't have pulled that crap on us. But anyway, so they got these tires. So then, and then they take them to Les Schwab, man, after that, you know, deal up there. Kevin called up there, same gal, tells him, and it was going to be, uh, uh, was it a hundred and well, it was fifty bucks. Fifty bucks a tire. Fifty bucks a tire. Fifty dollars a tire. So it was like, yeah, two hundred dollars or one hundred eighty dollars. Mm-hmm. I think it was two hundred dollars mm-hmm. for Kevin to have his mounted on his little Toyota. And this is the thing that the manager up there. So maybe um, she's wrong again because that's what he said that she didn't really know because this all came from corporate. But his when he explained it to me is like on my Toyota Sienna van. The reason that they're charging thirty five dollars amount um maybe it was a hundred i can't remember i'm pretty sure he off to ask kevin i don't remember it was anywhere from uh it was either 35 bucks a piece or 50 bucks a piece what should quote be 35 bucks 35 okay so maybe it was 35 there so that would have been 140 bucks anyway the reason that he told me that they are charging 35 bucks is because like on the sienna van and these new vehicles is that they have uh, the sensors, they change the valve stems, and they have those sensors to let you know when it's high and low that they have to check or change or whatever, and that is the reason that they charge 35 bucks. Kevin D has four loose wi- or loose tires um, on a 1980s Toyota little pickup. No sensors. No sensors, none of that fancy crap. Um, Willing, you know, I mean, if he had to buy valve stems you don't have to change valve stems every time you do tires so you know that's a crock of crap um but anyway so they quoted him high again so you know ed's on uh vacation hunting this week that's the manager up there at mccall um so i don't know what that deal is with that i don't know if i'll end up getting up there to get any tires because now if everything goes smooth here i'm just going to do my own tires here oh and then <laughs> I guess we'll go into that. I guess this is going to be a whole bash on Les Schwab, man. That, so uh, all the tire shops, and I'll tell you what they're doing here in a minute. The Katie and Tim have two tires that they needed mounted, loose tires. So they stop in at the Les Schwab in Weezer. Well, up here in McCall, he told me it came from Corbett, $35 a tire. First, they told everybody that they weren't going to mount. They were sending people away. We won't mount other people's tires, you know, these other tires because people are buying them cheaper. And that's what the whole thing boils down to. So uh, he said it came from Corbett, thirty-five dollars a tire, mountain balance. So Katie and Tim took him down there, and that Les Schwab in Weezer, which eh, Weezer Les Schwab, they uh, told him thirty-five dollars plus fifteen dollars for uh, balance. mountain balance. So fifty dollars a tire in Weezer, mm-hmm. Les Schwab, man, old Les. Like I said, man, my grandpa, man's been in the tire business forever. Him and all Les would be up there going, you dumb sons of... Mm. But the thing that they're doing that we figured out, here's the deal. So, just like Kevin, and he was going to do this. If he would have bought his tires at Les Schwab, it would have cost him (laughs) the exact, almost the exact same amount for the tires and being mounted balance with their higher $35 or $50 mountain mm-hmm. balance. Because Les Schwab's um, prices, compared to what he just bought online, are about $40 more a tire at Les Schwab than they are online. So that's what they're doing. Is That's where corporate has came up with that $35, is because if somebody buys a... Or a brand new tire off of the internet or Walmart or wherever and brings it in there, they're going to get the 35 bucks. They lose the sale of the tire, but they're making the same mm-hmm. amount of money. So that's the whole key. Mm-hmm. All right. So now I'm at off of the Les Schwab thing. They, uh, all the, you know, go to a mom and pop shop, man. That's the one you want to help, man. That's, uh, the problem around here is all we have is Les Schwab. Um, 
I am looking for the mom and pop ones, mm-hmm. and then I need to talk to the yeah. We local have guys. a couple local guys, but yeah. they're just not so available busy. all the time. Yeah, yeah so when busy. they're there, they're busy. And um, you know, uh, Ernie, I just love Ernie. He knew my grandpa, everything, and he runs a tire shop. But he also sells firewood, so he's always his always shop. Busy. You got to just he's kind of hit and miss. And mm-hmm. I actually went by there a couple of times, and Ernie does it for like twelve or fifteen bucks a tire. Mm-hmm. Or it might even been ten. I can't remember, uh, but it's yeah, been, it you know, that's the going, that's what it should be. And then there's another place, mechanic shop that does them, and they do them for $20 a tire here, but the, you have to end up waiting for two or three days. Or more. Yep. And then the other guy, mm-hmm. uh, he's, man, you never know what the heck he's going to, I went in there one time, he did it for free. The next time I went in there, he tried to charge me 65 bucks. I ended yeah. up getting it done for 40. Yeah. Crazy. So anyway, that's why I need a tire machine. I'm just going to start <laughs> mounting them for people the around here for cheap. All right, so now I'm going to get some uh, <coughs> soapy water and my spoons, and then we'll see. Uh, I'll let Miss Kitty film me. She'll know when to turn it off and leave. Okay. Uh, first thing you want to do, man, is soap it up. I just use a Dawn dish soap. And if you want that, baby, soaked up nice and slick, especially when you're doing it by this. One problem is that it makes your hands slick. Like that. So disgusting with tire shops now. I just can't even, can't even break it. Commercial Tire, they bought out KTS from uh, uh, Akavinko? Yeah, from Tom Akavinko. Show on that. And, uh, They'd be watching you say, well, why is he doing this? Why is he doing that? You know, you got your way. And I got my way. It may not be right. It may not be like you would do it, but it's how I do it. This is my show, so we're doing it my way. <laughs> so basically, you come on this side. Basically, come on this side. Me? Yes, you. Yeah. See how you dig, it, you dig it out of there? Like that. Oh, you make it look so easy. I don't know about that. Only, <laughs> only one shin rack. A little bit of high anxiety pissed off. A but little, a, almost a nosedive. Yeah, almost a nosedive. Um, so that's how you get the, that off. Um, bugs, dude, I seen this bug last night. <laughs> This is more of a tire video. We've seen a, uh, a hummingbird moth. hawk yes. moth. Yes. And they kill hummingbirds, we're told. That's what my daughter was telling me. And that mother, dude, it made the most horrifying sound. Me and Kevin, it flew between us, man. Me and Kevin just looked at each other like, what was that? First, I thought it was a bat. Spooky thing. All right, so I don't think we need to film this one. We'll film this one. Actually, you can go over here and throw them tires out there in the uh, sun. The one thing about the, um, how it's gonna put it, shitty tires they're putting out these days, is the uh, sidewalls are really thin, so it actually makes it easy for using spoons or that mechanical thing. Um, the plan was to get bias on the uh, green bean, bias ply tires, because a bias ply tire, the way that it's made, um, the sidewalls are the same thickness as the tread on a bias ply. And they're a, but it's a nylon webbing they use, not a you know steel belted radial. But dude, back in the day, they were all bias ply. Which makes the um, ride. Well, yeah, it's a rougher ride, yes. but when you're cutting out sidewalls, yes. um, I have three over there that cut right the sidewall, man, brand almost new tires. Mm-hmm. And them dang shell rock roads, um, mm-hmm. you know, you cut the heck out of them mm-hmm. dang mm-hmm. sidewalls. So that, that's where we were talking about going bias mm-hmm. ply. And then I came across these two that I got. Um, and they're radials and they're six ply radials. So I went ahead and went with mm-hmm. them. But anyway, as far as mounting like these, but then to mount the ones, the 16 inch or the bias ply by hand, we'll see how that machine from Harbor Freight works. But mm-hmm. doing it this way, man, is uh, it'd be a, 
a tough guy. It can be done, man. I want my stepdad was a he worked for KTS for years. Oh, like I said, man, I grew up around tires, man. I know all this and all this mumbo jumbo, man, that these guys throw at me. I know it all. Or I know it all. <laughs> I know it all, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or I guess I should say I know the old way that mm -hmm. the tire shops and service stations worked. I grew up around it. But my stepdad, Tom, was a mobile home service guy. He's the one that taught me how to use the spoons. He, he was uh, a mobile home service I guy? I mean, well, I guess that was that other guy. Yeah. I'm um, now a tire. He was a mobile tire repair man for KTS Tire in Boise on Fairview, which is now a commercial tire. But he ran around and had the truck, you know, with the big compressor and everything. He's mm -hmm. the one that told, taught me how to use the spoons. And man, he'd go out and do the big truck tires and stuff. With the spoons? Yeah, but they, yeah, their spoons are a lot better. Yeah. Mine are all beat up things that I found at flea market. Yeah. I'm going to get these two tires out of here. I'm going to throw them out here in the sun to warm them up. Obviously, we'll be cutting some of the. Uh, um, obviously, we'll be cutting some of the uh, footage out because we still are down a computer right now. Which leap rise? I need to show you the thing. He gave me all his son's information. Oh, stuff. Good. I think we already okay. had it, but okay. if we end up needing to take it to him, but uh, we need to get that part ordered. Mm -hmm. But uh, where was I going with that? Cutting oh, film because of the time. editor and stuff, man. The new editor that I got that I haven't even got to play with, but I'm paying for. Which we need to see. You could go in and see if you can switch that over the laptop. You can fast forward through, so I'll probably cut out a bunch of this. But I don't need you to film me on. Maybe this one will go smooth, but I think I can cut through that that one. So then I'll holler when I'm going to put. Cut. Cut. So I was going to show you. Miss Kitty had said I didn't really show the spoons. Tire tools, you'll see me pry against that. A little hook. You know, like this, with this little lip, you can go like this. <sighs> Two down. T brake. Lube them up. You can use this for this and this afterwards. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Get them started. I haven't done it for a while, so I kind of forget which uh, which end and bend goes for what, you know. Not something I want to uh, do often or do as a career or anything, I'll tell you that. Necessity, it's kind of like working on your own rigs. And they want to charge you 35 to 50 bucks a higher. And you're just a poor, poor little hillbilly kid. Just like that. <sighs> Did you do your calisthenics before you started? Oh, I should have. I'll go over here. Sometimes you have to uh, use a. But you've had a tire machine. They actually have a. Uh, oh. Well, it's like a. Strap, you put it around it, you put air in it, squeezes it together. Put it around, it's got a tube in it, you put it around, you put some air in it, squeezes it. Sometimes you can't just get it to do it by manhandling it. Then, uh, I'm gonna use a strap bracing to try to get to the bottom to seat up. Look at there. Beads. That's one thing that uh, 
all the big tire shops ought to realize that, uh, you know, to uh, some people's belief, how they always say that, to some people's popular belief, some humans still can do stuff for themselves. Yeah. up in a tire shop but I'm gonna start my own tire shop for me and my family yes and friends because I'm really disgusted with where it's gone first the service stations go away and you know that was always the thing too man I'd walk in and smell the you know good memories man you go in and smell the tire shops remind me of my grandpa you know I'd go in and Smells like a bunch of money hungry bastards. Oh, there went the wheel weight. Oh no, man, I'm gonna have to pay less than fifteen dollars. Put me another weight on. Just like that. I can support your local small business mom and pop tire shops and say no to or any other big tire places you have around. We need to get the service that we used to have back. Oh, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Helps get the lights on, the home fires burning. Check out the links below. Got a sell on, huh? maybe a sell on eBay, but lots of, tons of stuff, man. I've been list, list, list. Miss Kitty's been taking pictures. Um, maybe in the next video, I'll show some more of the, been just scoring on just all kinds of stuff, so. Other than that, good Lord willing, and the cricks don't rise. We will be back again tomorrow. See ya!